Every now and then I hear about somebody who needs to put like a cardboard shim in their battery cover to maintain contact. Or somebody has just replaced the battery and during the match the dot keeps going out on them. Generally this is caused by not tightening the battery cover enough. Now the tool you should be using to take off and put back on the battery cover is your aim point tool that came with your scope. These two fins, if you are out here, are meant to be used to remove and put back on the battery cover. Do not use a screwdriver. The screwdriver, you could end up over torquing your battery cover. Same thing with a coin. Again, you can over torque your battery cover and cause the threads to slip and strip, which is what you don't want. These fins, they're really firm, but there's some give to them. To help you prevent from over torquing them. But I want to show you some close ups of the cover, the distance between the cover and the neural knob. When it's installed properly, there should not be any gap between the cover and the knob. If you see a gap like you do in the photo on the right, the cover is not tight enough. So the way you do this, to take it off, you turn the brightness knob down to zero, you insert the tool. and you take off the cover. And then you can use small pocket knife or whatever to take out the old battery. You can then insert the new one. Make sure that the contacts look even all the way across on your battery cover. Make sure that rubber gasket is still there. If you don't have this rubber gasket, contact Aimpoint and see if you can get a replacement. At this point, take your brightness and turn it all the way up. In this case, it's on 12. Then replace the cover. Now you can probably see there's a gap in there. That gap means that the cover's not tight enough. Again, if you can't turn it anymore, you may have cross-threaded it due to using a screwdriver coin or something else. If you don't have this tool anymore, you can buy them online. If you think they're expensive, they're a whole lot cheaper than what you pay for the scope. I can't turn it anymore. I can feel the fins are beginning to, to bend and give, which tells me I've got it as tight as I can. And if you look closely, you don't see a gap anymore. Now, if I look through the tube, I can definitely see the dot. So that's how you replace the battery in an endpoint micro without cross-threading the battery cover and without the need to some kind of a shim inside the cover to maintain contact. I hope this video was useful to you and thank you for watching.